So um, without further ado, let's see what we get, right? So what do you want to know? First, I'm going to start. I'm going to start soft because Justin Bieber, both of us aren't. I wouldn't say we're, I'm more familiar with his music and I know the things that he's gone through over the years, but where's his head at now? He seems like he's in a better place a little bit, but I really want to know the real, because I think what we get outside is not necessarily what is really going on with Justin Bieber. Like, uh-oh, substance abuse issues. Mm. And it's confirmed by my cards as well, that um, it seems to me that he's overindulging at the moment. Wow. Okay. We, yeah. We've heard rumors. So what is he doing? Is he studying something? I think he's doing, he's working on learning something, maybe even studies something, does remote um, learning. Um, if he is, he hasn't shared. <laughs> no, it's not shared. I don't think it's shared, but he's working on something like oh, on himself and learning. Okay. But I'm not getting good vibes right now around Justin Bieber, right? I'm getting that he is not in a good place. He's super stressed. There's a lot going on. He's not. With this Nine of Swords, doesn't look good. Does not look good. And then I also pulled the Five of Wands. He is in a bad... I don't feel that he's in a good place right now. Forget about the overindulgence and the drinking and all that. Mentally. This is a mental thing that I see here. Whoa. And you know when you were um, reading me the chart of just me, that's that's the first thing that my guys told me. They said mental health issues, like imbalances there. You know, for lack of better words, but at his rock bottom, you know, he was there were a lot of antics that were being reported. He had found God. He became more religious, you know, and I thought that maybe he was in a better space, but apparently the cards are saying otherwise. I feel he's regressed. He has regressed lately. Because I'm not getting, like, I'm getting fired. Like, I'm getting these, like, like, he gets really into these heated fights and arguments. And then he's, like, curled up. That's how I see him and crying and, like, isolating oh, himself. This is so interesting because uh, we already know you didn't watch the VMAs. <laughs> 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 he opened the VMAs and it was very dark. He had this big hood on. Like, the performance where it is the song that he was singing. Everything you just described is literally what we were seeing. So if, if I'm thinking, oh, he's in a better place, that performance was really telling us otherwise. I'm picking up those two energies, this fire energy, and I also this, like, I want to be in a dark room, you know, um, huddle up in the fetus position and just, like, crying and in a very dark space. Um wow. Queen of Wands. So I don't know if it's his mom or he has a female manager there um, who is helping him out. No idea. But there is a female, older female, older than him. I mean, mm -hmm. not like an older, older, yeah. that she's really doing her best to uplift him and help with his self-confidence. I also feel that he has very low self-esteem right now. That's what I'm getting. The other thing I'm getting is that he's moving. Something's changing with his environment, his home environment, with the oh. Six of Swords. And I know the believers will be in the comments. Yes, they they will be confirming <laughs> some of this information. Uh, like, a, I don't know, marketing stunt or whatever it is. But what I see, especially with Haley Baldwin, I see with a star card that she loves the attention. So she loves being his wife. But I don't feel a connection there. Do you know what I mean? So, mm. so I feel was it a, a marriage of convenience? I'm, I'm looking into it. But so far, I'm getting with this two of cups and this star that this is all for, it's not like, yeah, for appearances. And um, I don't have, I don't feel the dark energy that I was feeling with Kardashians, that they're part of this Hollywood cult organization, whatever it is. But I do feel that he's being manipulated. I can believe that. But I feel like this has been going on for a while. Yeah. I mean, since a much younger age. And then I have the Queen of Swords. Definitely manipulation. He is... I can tell you one thing that I pick up about him. It's that despite what we see and we think about him, he's hypersensitive to criticism and to how people... He's a Pisces! Of course he is! 
Yeah. I know, but it's called that Libra, that Libra is a little bit more arrogant. No, no, they're very charming, but if they don't care, they can be. Um, <laughs> that brings some kind of balance. Mrs. Bieber, Mrs. Bieber. Okay, so if, if this relationship is just for appearances, was this because, let's let's just go deep into the whole Selena Gomez situation. Is he still in love with Selena Gomez? He is, there is some kind of like really unexplained um, attraction or energetic pull towards Selena, but they can't be together. I feel very weird about this. It's almost, it's very, can we dig a little bit deeper, though? Because it feels like we need to dig a little bit deeper. Like, what is that? Who broke whose heart? I feel like she broke his heart. Honestly, there's always been rumors. There's always been rumors. Um, uh, Seven of Cups, It for her, it was back and forth. Like, she was, I can't say that I feel that she was happy with him all the time. I feel that they, she had moments where she was considering of leaving him and ending it, but she kept going back. So there was always, with the Seven of Cups, back and forth, I almost feel with a seven of cups, maybe she even, um, well, I'm just using maybe just to be nice because I don't want to upset any Selena Gomez fans out there. I'm sorry. But I also feel that maybe there was some kind of cheating there as well from her side. He feels like the victim, typical Pisces. Um, he feels like he was the one victimized and the victim out of this, out of this relationship, the, the way it ended. 